inherited all of my apparel is crafted this way. I got this sick, sick sense of premonition and hate. Bet you know this in my posture way. I open with an eye to on my way out. Hope you get your spray out. Never see me splayed out. A duck fast and no master come gunning for me. He test eye, rest eyes open, watching the scene. But I won't be caught dead, rather live it up free. But the weight of this dress has been weighing on me, and it's hard to move softly in an iron fatigue. Meaning I run fatigue, mean I'm creased at the seams, mean I'm beasting with dreams, mean I'm boasting of things broken when I'm coast off my dean, and it's so hard to focus when I hold in my dreams. And it's scope elongated when I post on the scene. I mean, every black girl, every one, even me, been pimps, poked, trotted, and sold on the cheap. It's part of a process, part of what haunts her. Fucks up the rhyme scheme, makes her a monster, harder to breathe, harder to speak, sorry to beat drop, but sometimes there is no meter, just repeating lines, just consecutive sentences like the ones being served by the boys I grew up with. They are turning men behind four inches of glass in this poem. I'm walking with my feet turned inward and the gait of my stalking grows short and uh, unfinished because uh, ever since he made me touch it, the words don't come like they used to. But I don't blame anybody but myself, but I don't feel like talking about it. I feel like eating sunflower seeds in the back of AC transit, eating uh, sunflower seeds I my hair purple cussing somebody, somebody out controlling something, something other than this dress masquerading as my body that seems so steel these days, no chest to fear, fear these days, I don't die, I am told I multiply, but the school say I can't act right, so forget trying to act right, struck by the black knights of my own depression, unmedicated, undiagnosed, bipolar like low and North Pole like arms and elbows, turf dancing around, poor education and substandard air quality has made me expectant of death, they say the girls from West Oakland got no self-respect, well, it's all I have left, I invest in a dress that protects all my best. And sometimes I miss love while dodging the drama. It's tend to my knees in this bulletproof armor. Good evening. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, guys. Hi. Hi. Um, so now I'm going to read like a poem that's like on the page. It's good. Uh, this is my vocal warm up. That's, that's what. I got you. Red leather, yellow leather, blah, blah, blah. You go, yeah. Um, climate change, right? Um, that's, that's what my neighborhood is all about right now in so many ways. Thanks. Cats with me. Yeah. Uh, I'm from 18th and Myrtle, which is like six blocks that way. And uh, this was my walk home from school. I'd walk from the 12th Street BART station on days when, like before daylight savings time kicked in, when it was still light outside. But then later in the year, I'd have to walk like from 19th Street, which was the closest BART station to our house. And it was like the most dangerous walk ever. There were no shops open here. There were no, none of this was here. And so I have a really um, storied relationship with these 10 or 12 blocks between here and, and where I'm from. Um, and so these are sketches of those. I know you guys are recording, but I hate microphones. Uh, one, up the face of four Victorians that have always lined 18th Street like snapple tooth drunk uncle swaying, scaffolding, promising new, new, new. In the underbrush of the heavy metal implements, a used diaper, a castaway food wrapper, and there, as defiant soldiers, as last century, stand a barefoot girl and her older sister. Sis slips a rat-tailed comb into the scalp of the baby who looks at me, sizing me up, addition or fixture. I am three quarters into the head nod that proves me down, interrupted by the hipsters on bicycles who wave and tell them both that they are cute. Two. <laughs> These niggas see me for years. I've watched their hair gray and stature change, but they bodies is fixed. This here corner store is God marking the passing of time and height like flowered paper in grandma's living room. This tall, 1988. This tall, 2013. These men still push their backs to the wall, out front the store, these niggas post pop and yang like always, turn the soft metal atop 40 ounces expertly, clear the glass into their throats. They and the bottles are fallen soldiers who still call each other out. They name life, nigga, why you still let yourself lose that job? Why you hollering at hood chicks? How long will you stand out in the cold? F you N word, I got places to be, unlike your ancient ass. And then they look up the block at approaching cars and decide to stay here just a few minutes longer. Three. Sarah Tramble, the untrained historian, saves everyone and they stuff. House of dresses she made, albums team clipping her new, uh, albums team clippings of her slow nephew, his late model car under a tan tarp, sister's herbs and cheesecloth, who knows whose wax parchment.
accomplishment showed for decades, dress form she has always used. She keeps two hatred for the miniskirt she saw in 1923, 1974, 2000, or whatever, honey, she's seen them, don't like them. <laughs> Sarah Tramble and her tongue is barbed, wit is wire, body is locomotive running like clockwork for arrival at the now defunct 16th and Wood train terminus. Swear she came in there, recalls the spit chew odor of race men pretending not to have families at Esther's orbit room, been here long enough to have taught school, nursed professionally and at home, a man that beat her once and only once, married and remarried one after Another left for one reason or another, death or another. She held it all in, Miss Tramble. Her falling apart, Victorian took care. She alone now, keeping time too, by the shadows of box shelves, kicking dust into her window. Four, beauty supply warehouse on the corner of West Grand and Market. You know it. <laughs> Every sort of fake attachment, one can slip into her hair. Every shade of stick, one can trace onto her lips. Every style of gel or matte or gloss for nails, the girls turned after school tricks made their 20s, wiped their mouths, come here to get pretty to themselves. They get pretty here even though now they look like flora, pressed between pages, then laminated. Sure, gorgeous, sure, easy to move, but what about the live rose with thorns? What about the dangerous beauties Americans never picked? Thank you.